lives? How many more black lives? How many more black teen lives? Because my black teen here, his life matters. There was a uh, movement, um, an organized movement to show support for um, Michael Brown, and um, we wanted to come out and show our that we're not we're we're not happy about the recent decision that came out that uh, Officer Wilson was found um, innocent and not indicted. A lot of people here. It's hard to gauge exactly how many, maybe 600. Um, lot, many many people were here, and they were here uh, because of uh, the killing of Michael Brown by Darren Wilson, cop in Ferguson, and the fact that um, there was no indictment by the grand jury of Darren Brown, which means that he doesn't go to trial, he doesn't do anything, he just walks. No consequences for killing someone in broad daylight in the middle of a city. And so I think everybody, as you can probably hear, is very, very angry about this. Tonight it was a, a moment of four and a half minutes of silence for the unjust grand jury who did not indict Darren Wilson for the brutal murder of Michael Brown. Very good response, very good turnout. Um, as, by the turnout, I can see many people are not happy about what's going on, and it seems like um, the establishment uh, is not listening to the people. So we wanted to organize and come out and show um, our support for the Brown family. I think that the response was a wonderful response to a cause that is very dear to my heart. The sad part about all of this is, unfortunately, a lot of African Americans are not interested in to get galvanized around this issue, and I understand. But the outpouring from other people who really cared about our cause and black people being murdered really touched my heart tonight. I just want to add that um, we need to be vigilant and not allow innocent um, people to be shot down in the street because you never know who would be next and just because he wasn't a, a member of my family um, he was a member of the human family and a, mu a member of the uh, black race so that um, concerns me greatly that men are being children are being killed in the street 
well, uh, what's next, I believe, that should happen is we need to have a national agenda. And the national agenda must be threefold. One, we must talk about economic reparations to our people in this country. The second part is we have to think about an agenda that talks about white supremacy and how it affects black people. And thirdly, and most importantly, we have to get spiritually in tune with each other and love one another to come out of the plight that we're in.